how to talk about company values. I often get asked to help leaders prepare for a speech on company values like innovation, teamwork, integrity. Now, I think that these values are very important because they define company culture and they can help employees make the right decisions. The problem is that leaders often talk about them in a very abstract way. They just mention a nice word, they mention that this value has to be followed and they leave it at that. The result, the employees just get cynical. They don't really believe that this value is important. What to do? I think that there are certain steps that you can take to drag those values down to the ground. Number one, give concrete examples of a certain value in action. Let's watch Ray Dalio, CEO of Bridgewater Associates, an investment firm, as he talks about the value of radical transparency, which involves the need to get feedback at every level. A week after the U.S. election, our research team held a meeting to discuss what a Trump presidency would mean for the U.S. economy. Naturally, people had different opinions on the matter and how we were approaching the discussion. The dot collector collects these views. It has a list of a few dozen attributes, so whenever somebody thinks something about another person's thinking, it's easy for them to convey their assessment. They simply note the attribute and provide a rating from 1 to 10. For example, as the meeting began, a researcher named Jen rated me a 3, in other words, badly, for not showing a good balance of open-mindedness and assertiveness. As the meeting transpired, Jen's assessments of people added up like this. Others in the room have different opinions. That's normal. Different people are always going to have different opinions. And who knows who's right? Let's look at just what people thought about how I was doing. Some people thought I did well, others poorly. With each of these views, we can explore the thinking behind the numbers. Here's what Jen and Larry said. Note that everyone gets to express their thinking, including their critical thinking, regardless of their position in the company. Jen, who's 24 years old and right out of college, can tell me, the CEO, that I'm approaching things terribly. Radical transparency, the need to get feedback at every level. Do you believe it now? I think so. Why? Because he gave concrete examples of this value in action. And he was involved. He's the CEO. He's the founder. And he's not just talking about this value. He's living this value. Let's see another example. Hamdi Ulukaya, CEO of Chobani, the number one selling Greek yogurt brand in the U.S., also talks about some very lofty ideas. The new anti-CEO playbook is about community. Today, the businesses that have it all ask for communities, what kind of tax breaks and incentives you can give me? The reality is businesses should go to the struggling communities and ask, how can I help you? Okay, so far, the big words. If he just stops now, I'm not sure that the audience will believe his words. But of course, he continues. You know, when we wanted to build our second yogurt plant, Idaho was in nobody's radar screen. It was too rural, too far away, didn't have much incentives. So I went there. I met with the local people, I met with the farmers, we shook hands, we broke bread. I said, I want to build it right here. I don't need to see financial studies. And the result? This community is thriving. There's new schools that are opening every year. New food companies are coming up every year. And they told me, you're not going to find any trained workers here. I said, it's OK, we'll teach them. We partnered with the local community college. And while we were building the plant, we trained hundreds of hundreds of people for advanced manufacturing. And today, our factory is one of the largest yogurt plants in the world. Do you believe him now? 
The proof is in the pudding. Uh, the proof is in the yogurt. He has evidence that this value, communities, actually works. Now, what if you can't point to an evidence in the past? Then comes my tip number two, be personal. Find stories from your past that shed light on why a certain value like customer centricity is important to you. Don't be afraid to show your vulnerability. Even if you don't have any evidence, if you show your passion and commitment to a certain value and you show through your personal stories that you mean it, your audience is very likely to believe you. Good luck with your next speech on company values. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.